Well, my name is Sophie Martin. I'm a senior international officer for Western Europe and I represent Regents University London. So the university um, has actually two different campuses which are um, in central London. So the location for the first one would be in Regent's Park and this is where we take our name, Regent's University London. The second campus would be for our School of Fashion and would be on Marylebone High Street, just 10 minutes away from Oxford Street. Um, the university is actually divided into different schools. We actually have uh, two different business schools where you can study languages or global management as well as international business. We have an American college where you can study a different set of programs uh, with a major and a minor. And to give you a few examples, uh, you could be studying history, journalism, uh, international human rights. So we have quite a good mix in there. We also have an institute of languages. So for students who want to um, uh, progress in their English before they start on a course or for students who want to study another language. Um, we also have um, a school of media where uh, students can study film, acting, this sort of degree programme. We have a school of psychology and psychotherapy and we finally have a school of design where students can study fashion design, interior design and communication design. So that would be um, a general presentation to mm -hmm. Regents University London. It's just one application through the website or on UCAS because we're part of University UK. Uh, students can also apply to us on Common App. We have this opportunity since this year. Um, it's very easy to apply basically because either it's on UCAS and it's a common route or you would be doing everything on the website. I would suggest to students that when they apply they contact us as well so that we can give them a more follow-up on their application. Well, London is a, great, uh, is a great place where to live. Myself, I've studied in London, so I know what it's like to be an international student in the UK. Uh, it's a very exciting city. You have so many things to do. It's full of history. Uh, if you like eating out, well, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. There are so many things to do there. Uh, you have free museums as well in London. And being in the centre when you study at Regions, then it's great. You're just a few minutes away from everything. So I think any student being in London would, would like it, yes. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important to make sure that you're ready with your documents when you're going to apply for a visa. So once you've applied to university and you have a positive answer, it's very important for you to make sure that you're up to date with your documents. Uh, you have um, international immigration offices in all universities in the UK. So it's very important to make sure that you're in touch with them so that you know what to expect when you apply for your visa. And I think also that it's very important to maybe have a look in London, what is similar to your culture, so that when you settle in London, you can also still have a bit of your country with you and that's just a great way also to share that with your new uh, friends at university.